respected CGN, uh, GM2 Mehta sir, GM1 Kenny sir, uh, Mr. Sukhaya, Mr. Subramanyam, Mr. Sarma, Mr. Sankar, Mr. Babura, Mr. Arbin, I hope any name may, uh, Mr. Narendra Prasad. And uh, my not so young friends and very young friends. Uh, uh, when I speak of uh, Dr. Ambedkar, of course, uh, uh, I know it very well that the limitations, the caps come into the existence, they come into play. But one thing I will say that now we come across the IT revolution with inputs from various sources, the output is humongous. It's enormous output. So that time, when Dr. Ambedkar was the chairman of the drafting committee, he took some thread from the Government of India Act 1935, Montegu Chemsport reforms, from Bill of Rights and Judicial Review from US Constitution, some Swiss uh, constitutional things, from the, uh, say, privy, say the, um, the House of Lords and House of Commons proceedings, Australian Constitution, taking the threads and with the input, the processing was so powerful that it come out with a huge constitution like ours. So that shows that how independent he was in his mind and he used to take the deliberation and the openness in the mind as Mr. Subramanyam has mentioned. So we have to have a real open mind. So when we continue to have our mind without fear and it is always open, we don't have a, a dependence on anybody to carve out our position anywhere in the society. Let us carve out our own position in the society. Thank you.